Hi, I'm Katrin. Welcome to my channel. So today I will continue to look into the life of Morgan Jones. Some characters touch you more than others. I could name so many of my favorite characters over the years, but I will not. I will focus on those two I'm most interested in now. One is Morgan Jones, who I will cover today. And then there is Sansa Stark from Game of Thrones. But Sansa will I continue with in another video. When I left Morgan in my last video, he starts to think back to the time when he was still living in Rick's old hometown. The house he lived in started to burn when Morgan overturned a lamp. He decided to leave the town and start a new life out there. So this is Morgan Jones from my point of view. We can see him running in the forest with his helmet on. It must be very unpleasant to have that helmet on all the time. You should both see and hear words with it on. If it were me, I would try to find protection for my arms and body instead. He moves around. It looks like he search for a safe spot. He clear off the area and stumble on a good amount of walkers. After a while, he seems to feel secure that he dares to take off his helmet. Morgan is effective. He clear the area for now. But he doesn't leave them laying around, no, he loads them on top of each other. Then he lights the fire. I don't really understand how he thinks, I mean, to light a fire when it's dark outside. Will it not attract more walkers? I suppose it will attract them in daytime too, but then in the dark it should be worse. And there were more walkers. He hit them and threw them into the fire. One walker went all through the fire and attacked Morgan, but he took care of that one too. We can see that he worked very methodically. He started preparing for a safe zone. He has been able to sharpen many poles, almost an entire fence. I think this is good therapy for him, to work with his hands and to be creative. Looks like he's been there for a while now. Everything seems go on routine. Every day must look the same. More walkers and more bonfires. At one point, when he was out, he can hear something running through the forest, and he can hear from afar that it's not walkers. He hid behind a tree and attacked with his stick when it went past him. It was a man that he hit. His friends were running just behind him. He stopped when he saw Morgan, and he looked scared. And you can understand that Morgan are ruthless. He is like a machine that goes on and on. Like he's not aware of what he's doing. He took care of the other man too, and he mumbled, You don't. You don't. He was as in trance or something like that. When he realized what he's done, he sat down and looked completely devastated. If we look at how he is in Alexandria versus how he is here, the difference are big. Days go by, same, same, walk as a bonfire. I wonder if he is in some kind of healing process. It almost looked like that. Later we can see Morgan hit the new grounds. If he have left his recent home or if he has to go further out, I, I don't know. He comes out on a meadow. He mumbles, You know what it is. You, you know what it is. We can see him have some kind of breakdown. He start to hit around with his stick. 
suddenly he can hear something. It sounds like a goat or a sheep. He moves towards the sound. He sneaks gently into the forest and follow the sound. Pretty soon he see a trap. Lucky that it was daytime so he could easily see it. He stepped over without rubbing their jaws. And between the three canopies he sees a house emerge. He stops to make sure that no one is outside. He, he can see that's a home. Solar cells on the rooftop and a goat tied up outside. It's not often we see animals nowadays. We can hear birds from time to time, but, but that's all. Morgan runs up to the animal to take him with him. At least that's what I think he will do. Then we can hear someone say, Please step away from the goat. She is not yours. I still need her. I still figuring out how to make cheese. I think that we stop here for today. So what can we say about this part? Well, I, I think we can tell from Morgan's behavior and state of mind that it's not good to be alone for a long time, not to have someone to solve problems with, to make plans with, live your day with. Let's hope this cheese-making man will be that kind of person to Morgan, at least for a while. Next on my channel, I will continue with Margit Sandemo's book series, The Legend of the Ice People, and the book Witch Hunt. It's a family saga that extends over several centuries. We follow the family's struggle with the curse. The curse that follow Tengel the evil's bloodline. In my last video, we can follow Tengel and his family's escape down the mountain, down to Mr. Benedict's part of Norway. And Celia went to Trondheim and met up with the Lady Charlotte Maiden. She told her that her boy that she abandoned five years ago is alive and need help. I will also do my Sansa Stark video. She is one of the most interesting characters in Game of Thrones, at least if you ask me. My focus for now is show Sansa. In my last video about her, we left her and Arya, when Arya accused Sansa to have helped the Lannisters to kill their father. We are in a hideous part of the story, but I hope things will get better in my next video about Sansa. When we get some more news from the next season of Fear the Walking Dead, season 6, I will look into that. We know that the premiere is announced there this summer. During season 5 I did my episodes breakdown. I hope I have time to do that during season 6 too. Some of my videos are published for a long time, others are removed quite quickly. If you don't want to miss anything or if you just want to support my channel, subscribe and click at the notification bell. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Stay safe out there and welcome back.